What's up, squad? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Flex and Rue. Hopefully, everybody's having a blessed day. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe and notification bell. Today's video vlog, what we got going on, is it's gonna be a two-in-one video. So today's June 1st, tomorrow's June 2nd. As you guys know, the whole barbershop industry, a lot of the people are opening back up. So my barbershop's open back up out here in Sacramento, California, Lavish Barbershop. If you're ever in Sacramento, come check us out. So it's a big day for us barbers. I already had a shop meeting, and that's just a life as an entrepreneur, a life as a business owner. You gotta basically set some requirements and set safety precautions so I already had a shop meeting with my barbers and also we got a uh, bed with state board once from us so a lot of just sanitation purposes wash case wipe your chairs you know a lot of stuff like that people wear face masks so that's what we had it going on a meeting a lot of just going over safety precautions and sanitation purposes you know so to keep update on that of course we don't catch no virus and not only that you know uh, a lot of protesting going on out here too in Sacramento just all around in the U.S. because the passing of George Floyd so prayers out to him prayers out to his family and everybody that's dealing with police brutality you know if you guys remember when I got pulled over and that lady cop put a gun to my head and almost ended my life so I could really um, understand how this police brutality is taking you know brown and black lives you know, all the time so a lot of protests is going on like I said prayers out to everybody that's um, that has to deal with police brutality prayers out to George Floyd you know very very sad what happened so uh, yeah just my love and my prayers out to him and his family so we're right here at the barbershop. I'm about to grab these towels, go take it to the laundromat and wash them. And this is just the life as a business owner, life as an entrepreneur. You got to take care of your business, maintain your business, and take care of these things. So, you know, I want to bring you guys along and keep you guys updated with on the journey. So that's what's going on. You know, we're back open tomorrow, June 2nd. It's going to be crazy. Our schedule's from 9 to 1 p.m. So our last haircut will be done by 2 p.m. So that's five cuts. The month of June, just to see how it goes, you know, just to slowly open back up. Because we don't want to go full throttle and, um, you know, maybe catch the virus, hopefully not, but you never know who's gonna be sitting in your chair. So that's why we're just gonna take it slow, then eventually go full throttle. You know, we're just gonna see how it is the first month of opening up. So that's why we're limiting our hours and stuff like that, just really playing it safe. So let's head on in. A lot of protesting been going on. I don't know if they broke into here, the south one, the Boost Mobile spot. Cause been looting a lot of businesses. Hey, what's up? What happened? Well, this is hella fucked up. I pulled up to the barbershop and this whole time, I, I, I noticed that they broke the window of Boost Mobile store next door to us. So look how close this is. This is my shop right here. This Boost Mobile right there. I'm right here. They didn't mess with me. Thank God, you know. But they broke the door, the window, stole all the stuff. Now the girls in there cleaning it up. And I guess they broke into the shoe store, past the street right there as well. And the gas station is what I heard. That's crazy, man. All right, so this is how we got the barbershop set up. We got all the chairs over here, the waiting chairs that was right here. We put them right there, you know, because no one could sit in the waiting lobby. Um, this is the new things that I got to put together still for my stuff that I'm not using because I'm not going to have my station how it was. All the stuff that I don't use, I'm going to put up in here. That way it'd be a lot more easier to clean just because of sanitation purposes. My boy hooked me up. That's the thing about being a barber. You get all the plugs as far as just knowing people, you know, 30 bucks for 1,000 gloves. You know, these are the good pair of gloves too, black gloves. So, okay, that came in clutch because people are taxing Amazon. They know it's high demand. So, but you know, I got the plug thousand. Shout out Alex. Uh, yeah, so we got to put this stuff together. We got to label all these, the drawers, clean out my station, the stuff that I don't use, put it in that this big box, you know, clean my quartz jar because I haven't cut hair since then for like, what, two months? Last time I cut hair was March. Then um, get these towels back here. That's why we keep all our dirty towels and this big girl. Take them to the laundry mat, wash those. So you guys stay tuned. I'm about to get this garbage bag, throw these towels up, take it to the laundry mat before it gets. In these washer. You can see all the hair. Look all the hair. All the hair right here. Barbershop, man. So when it's $1.75, I'm gonna drop these off, grab something to eat. Nah, no, actually we're gonna head back to the barbershop. Alright, y'all, I just dropped off the towels and at the laundry mat. I got some disinfectant spray at, uh earlier too at Regulus. Put that there. And I also got some more right here, some more disinfectant spray right here so it's hard it's really hard to find Lysol right now and it's really tough out here like people are, are acting crazy breaking in businesses like i said this is one business over there they told me the pharmacy right here across the street all local like literally walking distance for my business people are breaking to other businesses pharmacies gamestop uh verizon uh metro boost mobile the shoe store so it's really really bad 
So I'm out here cleaning out my station. I get it. Uh, I forgot I had this. You know, if you guys heard of X Fusion or Topic, which is enhancements. You know, that's brand by Topic. They just made another brand, which is smarter than them. So, uh, anyways, you know, this is just history and just reminiscing. Lavish Teen, I hope that you and your customers love these X Fusion hair building fibers. We can't wait to see you try them out. Best uh, Molly and the X Fusion team. So, you know, just to have the opportunity for them to send this out. They sent me a nice little kit. I got some down here just for backup. Brown, black. And I think this is dark brown. So, so that's why I just really want to share with you guys how I like to collab and connect with people and other entrepreneurs and shake hands and network with them. That way for opportunities like that could come along. You know, I get sponsored, promote their business, you know, promote their company as well on my haircuts and just in my um, social media platform. So, you know, don't limit yourself. You know, you want to live outside the box. You know, don't be closed minded. Think of ideas. And that was my idea just connecting with people, reaching out to people. So made it happen. You can see how much difference that is with the barber side. It should always be like this, clear, see-through blue. And you gotta have a, at a certain level amount of water state board requires. But I just wiped down my whole station, cleaned it up. Got my stuff packed right here that I'm not really gonna be using. Got that out the way, and I gotta label my drawers. I'm gonna put my, uh, my towels when I wipe stuff down with, my disinfectant, and the dirty towels right here. So, yeah, I gotta clean out my airbrush right now as well. I should do that right now, clean this out. This gun alone was 40 bucks, so clean that out, get back in motion. So when I clean my airbrush gun, I take this part off, take this off, which I'm gonna show you guys. Just screw this part off. This is what holds the spray, the dye. I'm gonna clean this out. You see it pops right open. We'll hose it, clean all that out with alcohol. I'm gonna get up in here, clean it out so it won't be jamming or nothing. Especially I've been using it in a while, so it might be clogged up. But yeah, I'm gonna clean all that out, take it apart, disassemble it, then assemble it back together. So what I just did, disassemble it. You can see I cleaned it all off with the alcohol. These are just regular uh, tissues. Cleaned it all off, cleaned up in here. Took out the needle, cleaned the needle. You can see how much cleaner it is. Before it was like a little like black and stuff from the paint. Hair dye, sorry. Took off this. So I took out the needle from the back, you know, you just um, screw these and screw it back on. So the same way you disassemble it is the same way you assemble it back on. And this is for the front right here. Then I clean up in here as well. But I'm gonna get more up in there. I just want to show you guys right quick. So just pull out this needle right here because this is what's most important that will get clogged up. And you all right, y'all, I just left the laundromat. I put the uh, towels in the dryer. I left the laundromat, picked up some bleach and some Ajax for my cousin to clean up the shop tonight. Keep you guys updated. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned. All right, good morning, squad. It's day two, June 2nd. On my way to work. First day back to work. You know, I got five cuts. Like I said, we're doing a schedule from nine to one. And we're just going to see how it goes. I got to go set up some more, a little bit at the shop, because I got my Amazon package, what I needed for the shop. So that's what we're up to right now. I'm thinking about grabbing like a uh, croissant or something, because I'm hungry. I haven't ate. So yeah, let's get started. So I came to the donut shop to get a croissant. Give me a croissant right quick. Which so I just pulled up to the barber shop. We already got people up here waiting. Um, we're just doing appointments only, so I gotta let them know. You know, say have to wear masks. We already got this one labeled right here. Face mask required. So we gotta set this up. Alright y'all, we back in action, man. First cut. About to do a fade. You trimming the top a little bit? Yeah. Trimming the top a little bit. We're gonna do the beard, save it for last. Alright y'all, this is the aftermath. You can see the before and after, man. You got a fade on the sides, trim the top. We did the beard as well. We're gonna take this out right quick, show the beard. Yup. Got that, yeah, see that face again, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. 
All right, y'all, I just got done with the first cut. Sanitized the chair, wiped it all down. Got to put a new um, paper towel around the, the headrest. That's what the requirement is to do. And you can see I got everything labeled. All right, man, have a good one. Show. Sure. Yep. You see I got everything labeled, clean, clean, soiled. So just cleaning up everything right now. Get ready for my next client. My client's outside already. I told him I'm gonna call him when I, once I get done cleaning up. Got the hand sanitizer on deck. Get to the clients before they get cut. All right, y'all, we got a new client here. What we got going on? We're gonna keep his hair on top. We're gonna to take care of it and taper it up. So y'all stay tuned. Yeah. There y'all go, man. Taper. You look at the back right quick. At the back right. So, hell yeah, it's all love, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, I appreciate so, it. all good. I'm gonna adjust these gamma hitters. My blade needs to be adjusted. It's kind of off right now. Just waiting for my next client. So that's where we at part of the day. It's about, it's about to be 12 p.m. Got two more cuts, and that's it for today. But yeah, definitely gotta get this blade right. All right, y'all, we on the last haircut for the day. You see what it is right here, keeping the top long. Gonna do a three on the side all around. So we're gonna do a three all around to just line it up. Sharp sideburns, that's what his dad wanted. So, you know, his dad got the same thing, got the long hair, and the uh, three on the side. We're gonna round off the back. So no taper, just all even in the lineup. Just got done, the three with the lineup. You see how sharp the lines are from here. Nice and defined, I rounded out the back. Fresh, ready to go. Yes, sir. Cool. Just got done for the day. Just sanitizing everything down. Killing the bacteria, our shelves, whole station, chairs. Also down below, everything, man. Door handles, chairs we didn't even use. Just sanitize things, you know. Got my stuff out from these shelves. Sanitize, sanitize my station. Feels good to be, be back, man. Slowly but surely. What you think, Dan? Feels good to be back, man, or what? Yeah, this is like, man, we ain't got that much hair, but shit, I'm gonna be tired. <laughs> man, hey, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I cut hella heads, but it was only five heads, you know, because we're doing nine to one just to start off slow the month of June, see how this goes, see how the virus goes, and just playing it safe, you know, uh, no need to rush. I look at it like that, but uh, everybody got their opinion on it, but just know the virus is out there, so. But yeah, it felt like I did hella cuts, but only did five. It felt good being back. Seeing the clients, you know, talking and stuff. Of course, they have the face mask on. Other than that, yeah, chill day. It's hella hot outside. It's like 105, 104 today. You see the, the dope clippers right here. What's up, B? How you feeling, man? Yeah, good, bro. Good? Tired or what? Yeah, I can't sleep. <laughs> Everybody tired, man. Felt like that first day back in school. Did for today at the barbershop. I'm probably gonna go get my car washed or eat and grab something to eat. I'm gonna see how busy the car wash is right now. It's really hot outside, it's like 100 degrees. Felt good in the barbershop because we had the AC on all day. But yeah, that's where we at, had a great day. Um, did five cuts, we on the schedule, you know, just play safe, like I said. About to head out. All right, we right here at the car wash. If you guys live in Sacramento, you guys know where this spot's at, the House of Bling right here on Northgate. Clean Silverado over there, white with the black rims. You guys can see, I'll go closer in a minute. But yeah, we're gonna get this car. Just because earlier, the people that come to clean up the parking lot, they blew hella dust all over the car. My car's black, so you're gonna see everything. But yeah, that's the reason why I need a car wash too. Especially, it's gonna be hot for the next couple of days, so might as well get my stuff clean and washed. You know, I got time, it's two o'clock right now. So um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And from there, we're gonna grab something to eat. All right, so we just parked the car. It's about to be up next. Y'all holla at the guy that's gonna wash my car. Sometimes I be very picky. Jose, what's up, man? What's up? <laughs> what's up? What's up they got going on here? My shit about to get washed, y'all. Got a clean C6 Corvette right there. Convertible. Got an orange uh, Dodge Dart right there.
up you guys we just left the car wash i went home to go shower and change that's why i'm in different clothes right now but right now we're going to head up to fedex to pick up these shoes that i ordered you know i ordered some shoes so that's what we're up to right now pick up these nikes that i ordered so yeah let's see how these shoes are i ordered in for work and for um athletic purpose to work out in you know some good nikes i love nike and adidas and reebok as well if you guys don't know now y'all know so you yeah, pull up to this So we're just gonna open it up in the car. I'll show you guys my shoes. Just open that up. Cool. Let's see what we got here. Size 11. Yep. Check me out. Got the uh, Metcon 3s all black. I wanted to get the ones with the white stripe and the gold. They had like a little gold. Those were clean with the uh, white outline on the Nike, but they were sold out. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll just get these ones. But these are good. They said they're really comfortable, especially with, uh, you know, being an athlete and stuff like that, being in the gym. So that's why I got these. So all purpose, I can wear these at work, at the barbershop, be comfortable and work out in these. So that's cool. And I can probably wear these out too, just to, uh, you know, whenever I go out with some Nike sweats. So here y'all go. That's it for today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in and just, uh, you know, staying tuned with my videos. And I'm so happy and I'm glad I get to bring you guys along with the journey and keep you guys updated because we're in this together, you know. Uh, all my subscribers, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And it's a blessed feeling to be able to open up my business, you know. Just a day in the life as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a barber, and just sharing my vlogs with you guys, just how I operate. So that's what went on today. It was a blessed day, you know, just to be able to get back to cutting hair, to reconnect with my clients and the barbers as well you know so it was fun it was dope like i said we're starting off slow just to see how this virus and everything's going to play a part but you know other than that it's crazy right now just far as a lot of cities and states are protesting and uh, breaking to small businesses and um you know violent stuff catching stuff on fire looting so you know it's real crazy right now praise out to george floyd and his family and just everybody that's been involved in police brutality or had their life or almost had their life ended by the police you know it's no joke i'm pretty sure like i said in earlier in this video when you guys see me almost get my life ended by a, a cop you know that's not fit for the job so you know it's, it's crazy because i always have my life ended by the cop putting a, a firearm to my head like you know, that would have been a kill shot for sure. But, you know, I'm just thankful I'm still here. You know, it's God's plan. Um, you know, all prayers to God. And like I said, prayers out to George um, Floyd and everybody that's been involved in police brutality or almost had their life in it or has had their life in it. You know, it's, it's really sad. So, you know, hopefully from here on out, it makes a difference. For sure, I appreciate you guys. Like I said, it's always love bringing you guys along with the journey with me and keeping you guys updated. So that's it for today's vlog. Please like this video. If you guys got any questions, any comments, let me know in the comment section. You know, it could be about barbering, entrepreneur, uh, the barbershop, how to cut hair, or just, you know, what's going on in the world right now with this pandemic, the coronavirus, and also all this protesting and this police brutality. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe and notification bell. As always, until next time, you guys, peace.